Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronis29 and this tutorial I'm going to be showing how you can easily color grade people with different skin tone complexions or two people who have different skin tone complexions in the same image and if at all this is what you have always wanted to learn I request that you hit the like button on this video because when you do that it's going to help YouTube push and recommend this channel and this video to many people out there and it's also going to help the channel grow in the long run so I just request that smash the like button on this video so this is the image after i've done the retouching on it so if at all you're interested in learning how i do match or even the skin tones simply let me know in the comment section so we're just going to be focusing on how you can color grade people with different skin tones in the same image so first of all i'm going first of all color grade the model right here the one with the darker skin tone completion so i'm just going to come to the background line and simply press ctrl j and right now i'm in photoshop and i'm using photoshop 2020 after doing this we're just going first of all create more contrast within the skin tone and make her skin look richer so we are simply going to come to filter and come to the camera filter right there and it's going to open up the camera filter within our photoshop and basically when you're adding contrast to skin tone we want to handle our colors that belong to the skin tone and for this case you can see that we have oranges so we're just going to come to the color mixer tool within camera row right here or the hso panel if at all using an older version of camera row and i'm just going to come to luminance remember luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so I'm just going to come to the oranges and simply darken the oranges. So when you take the slider towards the left hand side, you're darkening a given color. So I'm just going to first of all take it to around negative 11. That is okay. So this is the before after. And now you can see the model really has that nice skin tone. So I'll come and simply click OK. So the image can open into Photoshop. So like I said, we're going to first of all color grade the one with the darker skin tone complexion so in order to do this we're just going to come down here we're going to come to hue and saturation and come and simply left click on mask and simply come to reds right here then under that you have hue saturation and lightness so in order to get that rich melanin skin tone for this model right here you're just going to come to the lightness after selecting the reds and simply take down the lightness and you can see that she's now getting that kind of melanin like skin tone i'm just going to do that then i'm also going to come to the yellows and target the yellow color and simply desaturate the yellow color just like that so after i've done this the next thing i'm going to do don't mind if i thought it is affecting the second model because i'm going to be handling her later on so we're just going to close this and we're going to come and create one more adjustment layer which is the black and white adjustment layer and simply come and change the blend mode from normal and we're going to switch to multiply and after that simply come the opacity and simply turn down the opacity just like that to make her skin tone look richer so i'm just going to leave it at around three percent that looks okay now you can see she has been color graded to our liking and when you feel like it is not what you want you can simply double click right here and come to the reds and simply continue taking down the lightness so at around 37 negative 37 so after you have done this remember the adjustments we did are on two separate layers so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come right here and select both layers by pressing ctrl and left clicking on both layers or you can use command and you left click on both layers to select both and simply press ctrl g or command g on the keyboard to group these two layers so like i said the color grading has affected overall image and we just want it to only affect one model so if at all you have a lot after applying it simply invert the layer mask so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to create a layer mask alongside or on this group by clicking on the layer mask icon right here so if at all you have a light that you have applied and it is for a dark skin model you simply apply it on the image and after select the layer mask and press ctrl i 
or if at all you're using Mac, simply press Command I to invert the effect, and you can see it has hidden the overall color grading. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come under the brushes right here, right click and get the brush tool, and make sure the settings it is a soft round brush and the hardness set all the way to zero. The mode has to be normal opacity and the flat 100%. So make sure you have black and white right here on these two color swatches. You can reset by clicking on the tiny boxes right here to have black and white displaying here. Then if at all you want to switch between black and white, you can use X on the keyboard or you can as well use this arrow to switch between black and white. So remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the color grading was hidden behind this black mask so with the white brush we're going to be painting back the color grading onto the darker skin complexion model right now so i'm just going to left click and hold down and simply paint him the color grading on only the dark skin complexion model so you can take your time trying to do this because you always want to be perfect at the end of the day. So I'm just going to be painting on the skin. You can increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And if at all your brush is showing a plus icon like this, simply press the caps lock key and it's going to bring back the circular formation for the brush tool uh, within Photoshop. So you have to paint on every area that contains a uh, hard skin tone and if i told you paint why you didn't want to color grade simply press x on the keyboard and that is going to enable you paint back black onto the areas you did not want to affect in the first place so i'm just going to be painting just like this and you can see it is now color grading only the one with uh, a darker skin tone complexion and after we have color graded the one with the dark skin complexion you're going to be handling as uh, the one with a lighter skin tone complexion so let me just do this so you can see the before after before after we have not affected the one with the lighter skin tone complexion so if at all you want to color grade the one with the lighter skin complexion you can come back and simply come right here and you can simply desaturate the yellow or the yellows of this model right here by coming back to our filter and selecting the middle layer filter then you come to come arrow filter and you can simply play around with the saturation values of this model right here but if at all you do this, it's also going to affect this model. So what we're going to do, we're just going to first of all create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift, Alternate, Control E on the keyboard, or you can use Shift Option Command if at all you're using Mac. Then simply come to Filter, come to the Camera Row Filter, and when you come to the Camera Row Filter, you can simply come and play around with the saturation values of the orange color or even the yellow so i'm just going to come to our color mixer and come to hue saturation luminance so we are just going first of all slightly darken her by taking down this to negative three and coming the saturation and simply taking down the saturation because we don't want the oranges to be too much or overly saturated just like that so around negative eight so before after before after and now you can see that this looks better and you can now come and simply hit okay so after hitting okay remember it has also affected the second model in this case and we only want it to affect the one with the lighter skin complexion so you're just going to come and simply press the alternate key on the keyboard or you can use the option key and simply left click and that is going to invert the effect so with the white brush just come back and paint white on only the model with a lighter skin tone complexion so reduce on the size by using the bracket keys so we're basically painting or color grading only as the one with a lighter skin complexion so i'm just going to be painting on her just like that so if i told you have a lot for a lighter skin complexion simply 
apply the, the, the LUT and simply invert it by creating a layer mask or selecting the layer mask and simply inverting that layer mask. So this is okay. And now you can see before, after it has just affected this mode right here. So after we have done this, the next thing that you want to do is let's add a little bit of shine or glow to this model. So in order to add that glow, you're just going to simply come to the adjustments and coming to the curves adjustment layer and simply left click here right here on the brightest point and drag it towards this side up to when the image is brightening up a little. Close this and simply double click on this layer by simply double clicking on it. It's going to open up the layer style dialog, dialog box. So one take the effect of the brightening from the shadow area. So simply left click and hold down and drag these triangles up to when the effect is only and only affecting the brightest parts of your image. So around this point, that is when it is only affecting the brightest point. So hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard and simply split this so that it can blend in better or even well. So after doing this, I'm just going to simply press OK. And you can see the before, after, and now it is affecting the overall image, including the background. So press this layer mask and simply select it and press Ctrl I or Command I on the keyboard. So with the white brush, you can simply paint on the areas that you want to add that nice and beautiful shine or glow onto the model's skin. So I'm using white to paint back that nice glow that we had initially before, or the glow that we had created later on using the curves adjustment layer. So this is the advantage of watching videos up to the very end because right now I've just gotten a bonus technique or tip to make your images better. So let's see the overall before and after for this very image regarding color grading and that glow effect that we have applied. So this is the image before, after, before, after. Just see how we have color graded these two models who are having a totally different or a differing skin tone complexion. So this is how you can do it in Photoshop. And if at all you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.